just finished the awesome canyoneering tour here at Kawasan Falls. You guys should definitely check out that video and come here try yourself. Uh, the rest of my group have gone back to mobile in the uh, Jeep, but because I got my own bike, I'm going to continue on. Next up is Osmina Peak, which is another very famous uh, tourist destination here in Cebu. Hopefully I get there in time to catch the sunset. It should only take me about an hour on the bike, so let's head off. Guys from the village stopped me and asked if I want to play basketball. I'm always down for a game of pickup. Filipinos love basketball. Yeah. So you play for you play for money here. Yeah. 20 pesos. Yeah. 20 pesos per person. So if you got a team of five, it's 100 pesos. I didn't get the win, but thanks for letting me play. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, after a long drive and some detours playing basketball, I've arrived in the town of Manta Longon. Uh, which is where the base of Osmina Peak is. There's only one accommodation I could find that's here in Arthelzin. Seriously, you guys can try it. I've tried every single online booking platform. This place is just too remote. Now, initially, I wanted to come here, uh, put my stuff down, and then hike up Osmina Peak to watch the sunset. But as you can see from the way up here, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to see anything. I think I might just get some food, uh, go to sleep early, and then hopefully wake up in time for sunrise. As you can probably imagine, in a little town like this, uh, your dining options are pretty limited. I also found this little burger joint, Big Mac Burger. So they get a free Wi-Fi with every purchase of burger, and they have franchise opportunities. So I ah, got bacon cheeseburger. They're so cheap. It's only fifty pesos. That's like less than two dollars. Not only is it cheap, I think it's actually buy one and get one free. So that's a that's a ridiculously good deal. So. I guess I'm eating here tonight. It's actually beef. At least I think it's beef. <laughs> yes, it's beef. Beef? Beef burger? Hey. Uh, mixed with pork. Mixed with pork? Oh. The burger patty is quite thin, but it's well cooked and it actually does taste like raw meat. You want hot sauce, sir? Hot hmm? sauce. The only problem is that it doesn't have much flavor, so definitely add some hot sauce. Otherwise, two of these for 50 pesos is still an incredible deal. I'm still a bit hungry after the burgers, but lucky for me, at the public market at night, there's a couple of uh, street food stores that are open. You can see they sell pretty much all sorts of random takeaway food, as well as barbecue chicken and barbecue pork. So, I'm gonna get myself some barbecue skewers. Can I get two? Two? Yeah, and then two of this as well. Ah, uh, you know what? One more. It's 5 a.m. in the morning. I had a pretty decent sleep, even though the accommodation was uh, super, super basic at Abdel's Inn. You know, there's not really any other options in town. So now, I'm gonna take my bike about a 20 minutes drive up the mountain to Osmina Peak, followed by a 15 minutes hike. So hopefully we'll make it in time. Once you ride your scooter to the top of the hill, you gotta get off and start hiking. There's a registration office where you pay a 30 peso fee, so really, really cheap. And you can see there's nobody here but a couple of locals. Uh, well, when I say locals, I mean Filipinos. I think they're the only foreigner in town, actually. It's still pretty dark, so I think I can make a sunrise. Hey, doggy. Where are we going? Are you guiding me or are you just gonna sniff around? Oh, there you go. Pretty easy hike. There's only one uh, one path, so you can't really get lost, even though it's quite dark. Good boy. Good boy. Finally made it to the top. You can see there's a stone slab here. I don't know what it says anymore, but I'm pretty sure it just marks that this is the top of the hill. 
and this is probably the only comfortable place uh, to sit on this entire you know rocky mountain that's pretty much what a uh, osmina peak is it's pretty foggy right now so you can't really see but basically it's just a whole heap of rocky little mountain that's dotted among the landscape you can kind of see it through the fog uh, which also probably means i won't see much of a sunrise which is unfortunate but yeah um you can climb any one of these rocks you don't have to go to the fisher one and you can get a really nice view all by yourself you can see there's campground over there people probably is gonna start coming up soon Seems like the fog is receding quite a bit now, so we get a better view. It's time to take the drone out for a spin. The region around Mantalagon is known as the vegetable basket of Cebu. Almost all the vegetables on the island is grown in this area, thanks to its cool climate and high altitude which makes it suitable for growing most vegetables. If you look down in between the Osmina peaks, you'll see that the area is full of small famine run vegetable farms. Every morning the harvest is brought to the massive market in the centre of town to be sold, packed and shipped wholesale to restaurants and supermarkets all across the Cebu island. Now anyone who knows me knows that I absolutely hate vegetables, but even I found this market to be very fascinating and definitely worth a visit if you happen to stay overnight in Mantelagon for those near peak sunrise. And I hope you have better luck with the sunrise than I do.